Hello YouTubers, today I have another unboxing for you, another cell phone. It's the Motorola XT860. I'm gonna go to the side of the box. It just talks about... Probably nothing important there. In the back of the box, it shows all the features. Yeah, I think I'm going to buy a SLR to make these videos because uh, this camera is autofocus, it's not really good. Okay, maybe you'll get it. It says a 5 pneumatic QWERTY keyboard, 4 inch QHD display, dual core 1 gigahertz processor that can capture 1080p HD video. Get your message out double time because there's a keyboard. Uh, tap the power to dual core processor. Okay, and that's in French after that. Side of the box, nothing. Motorola sign on the top of the box. Bottom box. Bottom box. So as you open the box, you see uh, it tells you to ch ch charge it. I'm just going to take the phone out. Battery's not installed. The back cover is not installed. So, what's included in the box? So, you got a ha headset with like a, a microphone, USB charging cable, HDMI cable, battery. Back plate, AC to uh, USB adapter, and you got your paperwork like any other. There's nothing else in the box. I have also the Motorola Atrix over here, so it's similar, it's a little bigger than the Atrix. But the, the screen is the same size, and they're both QHD displays. Only thing difference is this has the 8 megapixel camera with 1080p video. This has 5 megapixel camera with 720p video. But this has a carbon fiber. The Atrix has a carbon fiber backplate. Pretty cool. So I'm gonna put the battery in and then we're gonna do the first boot up. So I did put the battery in. It has a room for up to 32 gigabyte micro SD card. I'm going to put the back cover in. The back cover is pretty smooth. It's like some soft touch plastic material. It's not carbon fiber, but take this thing off. Motorola sign. Take the front screen thing off. Open this up. This plastic thing off over here. Give it one second. It's nice and glossy here. So the start button should be up or up on the bottom. So as soon as you start it up, it says Motorola dual core technology. I don't know if it's a Motorola processor in here. Yeah, as you just heard yesterday, Google bought Motorola for 11 point something billion dollars. Motorola does have a lot of technologies patented in, so I think that was the main reason. So you see, uh, it's like a water effect. It's a pretty solid device. So I'm just going to do the initial setup and go over the software later. Okay, from my initial impressions of the motor blur on this phone, it is a little bit of an upgrade um, to the one on the Atrix over here. Uh, and the keyboard makes it... Uh, let me just press home. So the Atrix over here... Uh, has a similar interface, but the screen is a little bit more vibrant, as you could see on the on the X. What's the what's the model? XT eight sixty. 
and the the it's a lot quicker too. I think it's more smoother. On this phone, it's. I'll show you this is the size compared to other smartphones in the market. I I think on Motorola's phones, the fonts are a little smaller than uh, on the 4.3 inch phones I have, like the Samsung. In Galaxy S2 over here. Let me just turn on the screen. Give me five seconds. The HTC uh, it's not as uh, oh, let me open the, the HTC wildfire too. So uh, as you can see the Galaxy S2 is by f it's probably the same size, a little bit bigger in size to the to the Motorola, but Motorola is pretty heavy too because it has the five number keyboard. Okay, so out of all the smartphones I have and the super phones, these are considered super phones because they have uh, dual core processors and eight megapixel cameras and stuff like that. This is the heaviest, followed by probably like the Atrix. Atrix and probably the HTC Sensation are uh, similar weight. Then the Samsung's the lightest, probably the same weight as the 3.2 inch Wildfire S. I was talking about the keyboard. Uh, so the keyboard is five lines. It's a good size, but you have the numbers too. The numbers make a huge difference. You never have to press tab. You basically have like the add symbol. You have a D-pad over here. You have OK, Enter, Backspace. So everything you really need, you know. And this, uh, I th this is a lot more snappy than the Atrix, I find, uh, the XT860. Uh, so it has the same 1.1 1 .1 gigahertz processor. I think the motor blur on um, the Atrix is a little slower. And it actually uh, rotates the home screens in landscape mode, too. Uh, you can't do that with any other... other uh, phones, uh, like you can do it with HTC, you can do it with uh, Samsung, the only thing you can rotate through is this and that makes a huge difference. Any okay, I forgot to tell you guys one thing, both the Atrix and uh, the XT860, they have uh, an HDMI out and the, the the cable for the HDMI out is actually included in the box so you can connect um, via HDMI to any TV or any device play music play new movies actually I tried it out with the Motorola uh, Atrix and it's like the video quality I had, like, I had a it's not as good as co like connecting my computer actually for some reason. Uh, the video file wasn't 1080p or anything, but uh, I'm gonna try try it with the, the Motorola uh, XT860 and see if it's um, the same thing. I think the XT860 has more capability. You can actually mirror what you have on your phone on the TV. With the Atrix, you could only uh, like use the media player like uh, built into it so you can only like do music um, movies videos and uh, I think you, uh, pictures and I think with this one you could do anything you could you could play games on the big screen and stuff like that and with the included um, HDMI cable I know the more the HTC sensation and the Samsung Galaxy S2 has an MHL cable that you could purchase, but uh, it's not included in the box. So, anyways, uh, this was just uh, okay. Bye. Anyways, that's just my initial view of the Motorola XT860. Thank you for watching my video. Subscribe if you wanna. 
You know my homeboy Ali is always keeping it gangsta.